Hi friends, this is Leela. Now we came to the almost end of the course here. We have completed the routing guard and everything we have completed in this one. So we have completed everything that is nothing but the authentication of the React, React JS using the Redux library we have did. Let's try to log in into this one. Now here if I try to log in Leela web at gmail.com 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. So this is the home page. We are able to go to the post page, create post and all those things we are able to see. Now another thing, what the another thing is left out is important thing is nothing but the performance. So, prof, uh, create, uh, use, uh, so doing the performance for this project. As this one is a small project, so there is not that much of performance will be there. So performance will be nice only. But if you are dealing with the big projects, then you need to take care of this performance also. So how we can increase the performance? That is nothing but using the lazy loading. Now here when you are going to the post page, okay, the create loading of this create post component is not necessary. So unnecessary loading of this create post is not necessary. Now when the user clicks on this create, create post button only, we need to load this component on demand. So that means all the routes whatever you are using it here, when the route enter in, enters into that component only, we need to load it on demand. So with the chunk file. So how we can create the lazy loading of this routing thing? So we have already seen the lazy loading of the components. So using suspense and the react lazy. So in the same scenario we will be using here also. So let's try to implement that lazy loading. How we can implement the lazy loading of the routes in the react JS. For example, if you see here in the inspect element, <coughs> if you go to the network and if you go to the network and if you see the JS files, let's try to see, I am trying to refresh. Okay, the first time everything is loading. So bundle.js, vendor.js, sorry. Bundle.js, vendor.js, everything is loading. So here if you try to see main.chunk.js, so everything is loading. Now if I go to the home page, if I go to the post page, nothing is loaded. So fine if you try to see view details, edit details, everything is, nothing is loaded. So now let's try to implement the lazy loading. Here in order to implement the lazy loading, what we need to do? The routes wherever you are doing these routes, let's implement the suspense. So we need to use the suspense. Okay, suspense, suspense, and you need to add it to the suspense here. And what you need to you need to import this suspense. Okay, yeah, I imported suspense, and you'll be having a property fallback. Fallback in this fallback, what you need to do? So here, what you need to do is oh sorry, here you need to add div loading. So these are the loading things. So whenever we are using this one, right? Suspense thing. So until and unless the component is loaded, so it will show the fallback uh, thing. That is nothing but the loading thing. So you can add a component also, and otherwise you can always use the render HTML thing. Now here in the suspense, what we need to do? We need to add div something like loading. Okay, you can add loading. Okay, we have added the fallback. Now what we need to do? Whatever the components we are using it here, we need to use the lazy. So what we can do is first home page. Let's take the home page constant. So let's take it in the constant home is equal to use the method lazy. Okay, which should be imported from the react lazy and this one takes a the method and here we need to import. Okay, import this one. Okay, so the route of this component. Okay. Now here we have pasted that's it now we can remove this home automatically and another one is the create post let's copy this create post and here let's paste it this one and here i can add it and create post so this one is also for create post also we have made and the sign up so let's take this sign up so sign up let's paste it here the bottom and what I can do is sign up okay so sign up we need to copy this one all and paste it here and another one is a login okay login is also important paste the login and here I can take this one I can paste it here another important one is you can remove these both things login and sign up is completed and another one is a post okay so post and here I can paste it here post and here I can take post oh sorry post 
and I can remove this post. So as we are using the browser rotor in the index, we can also remove this one and you can also remove this logo also. We are not using this logo. So now fine, I think everything we are using. So it's all lazy load we have implemented. That's it. So now we have implemented the lazy loading. Let's try to see the output. If I go here. Now I will do the logout. Okay. I will try to refresh this page so that let's try to see. Yeah. So I have refreshed this page. So here you will be able to see the loading symbol. So why? Because until and unless the chunk is loaded, it will show you the loading symbol. So whatever thing you want to create a component also, you can create not a problem. And here what I will try to do is, so let's I remove this one. I am clicking on the sign up. See another chunk has been created. So the JS file. So when we are demanding the sign up route, we will be getting the chunk file. Now when I go to login, the chunk will not be loaded. Why? Because the login chunk is already loaded. Here if I go to the login, see it is not loaded. I go to the sign up. See now with the chunk is not loaded. Why? Because this seven dot chunk is already loaded. And here in the home page, if I click up to now, I didn't went to the home page. So now if I click on the home page, see one dot chunk dot js is loaded. That is nothing but what we can say is home page is loaded. When I go to sign up, login and home, now this time chunk will not be loaded. Why? Because it is already loaded in the browser. Now let's try to log in here. Leela webdev at the rate gmail.com and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 0. And if I go here, so I went to the home page. Now, now see, up to now we have to open the post component, right? Post routing. So let's open this post routing. See here, 2 chunk.js and 3 chunk.js has been loaded. 3 chunk.js is nothing but what we can say is about the view details and the edit details. So we, we are having a nested routing, right? Inside the uh, post so that is the reason three chunk dot js has been loaded if you want you can implement it in that nested routing also you can implement the same thing react lazy you can implement it now i uh, let's create the let's open the create post create for create post we have created we have used the react lazy if i click on the create post now see four dot chunk dot js has been loaded so now everything in this one is loaded lazily so we have successfully implemented the lazy loading of the components so all the routes whatever the routes we are using so we have successfully implemented the lazy loading so this is how we will implement the lazy loading of the routes same thing the same concept comes for the component loading also if you want to load the header component header is a component so if you for example if you consider here this header is a component this is not a route component now if you want to implement this header as a what we can say uh, 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 as a lazy loaded you can use this suspense above this one for this one so now you can use the same concept instead of importing this one you can use lazy off like this import so then header also will be loaded lazy loaded but here we don't we will be not using why because header will be loaded all the time so the user cannot go to a specific component and see the header right so we header is loaded all the time so that is the reason i am not loading it lazily so this is how we will be implementing the lazy loading in the react js by this hopefully we have completed everything regarding this react js project including the router lazy loading redux everything we have implemented in the react js so this is the beginner course what we can say is i can say is this is the our, almost of the beginner course so if you understand these all the concepts tomorrow we will be are going on to the videos we will go into in little deeper into the react js we'll start another course something like react redux toolkit i told you right redux saga a lot more to come in my uh, what we can see in my channel so you can see you can wait and you can see so this is all about the react course React JS and next, now in the next video, what we'll try is we'll try to deploy this one. How we can uh, how we can deploy this code? So let's try to see this one in the next video. If you are having any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like to and if you like this channel, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.